Boy, have there been some updates, so not only is the new season going to come out with a new character and a whole bunch of new skins, but there are also a bunch of minor nerfs, too. Or, well, nerfs and buffs, right? So, we got the new guy, which is cool and all, cool and all, new skins, more skins, but that's not what I'm important about. That's not what I care about. That's not what I'm talking about. Let's see. New gadgets. Whoa, hold on. Jesus Christ. Okay, here we are. Here we go. Here's the individual buffs in there. So I was just reading this stuff. So yeah, Amber got a damage buff. Well, Amber got a total buff. BB got a health buff. Carl, made, they made one of his gadgets better. Enemies poisoned by crow receive reduced healing. Increased supercharge rate, which is pretty cool for him. Gene has increased damage. But what they don't say is that they I think they actually reduced how fast is supercharged. Because if I take Gene, if I take Gene, and I just, wait, just go into this thing. Let me see this real quick. See if I'm wrong or not. Because before... Yeah, they nerfed his how fast his supercharges up. Because it used to just be all three. But now it looks like it takes four. Sucks. So, even though he got a damage buff, he did get nerfed as well. Although I don't see that... Although I didn't seem to show that in the patch note. Um... But I never really noticed any of these, except for one major one. Uh, they increased Jessie's main attack damage. I guess they're going off the level, her level 1 stat? I think? Whoa. Alright, so Leon got... A damage buff and a supercharge buff. Max got updated gadget. Sandy got a buff for supercharge. Sprout got damage buff. Colt loses reload speed. <laughs> nah, bruh. But the main one that that is probably the most noticeable for me, anyways, Jesse. So like before, she did. 12,088 damage. I basically memorized it. Now she does, at max level, she does 15,068. And it said that she does less damage with each bounce. So let's look at the numbers and see this. Oh, yeah. Okay. So even though it does less damage for each bounce, so how much does the third bounce do? Oh, the third bounce only does 800 something. So even though I think she does less damage overall, because, well, give me a second while I do quick math in my head. Uh, 36. Well, actually, no, wait. If she hits all three bounces, it does the same damage. It's just more spread out in total. And then her turret does the same amount of damage still. So in total, she does the same amount of damage, but it's just more spread out. But that first hit really hurts. Now, that first hit really hurts now. Um, yeah, that's kind of cool. Buffs and nerfs and stuff. What are some of those other ones? Hold on, let me go back. 
We'll also get some games in here as well, so it won't just be this type of stuff. Well, look at all these new, some of these new gadgets look pretty interesting as well. Especially that Rosa one. That looks ridiculous. Um. Whoa, that one for Frank also looks pretty cool. Next attack pulls opponents towards you. Pretty awesome. That nanny one seems really cool as well. The Tara one looks seems like it would be pretty good, depending on how much damage the shadows do. Um, and then that tick one looks like it would be excellent for like you know, if like an Edgar jumps on you or something like that. I mean, you'd still probably end up dying, but you know, <laughs> you can at least do something. They also changed the fact that community maps don't do trophies anymore. So you can just play them without losing trophies. Which I'm kind of happy for, because now I can play stupid games like this with my favorite character, like Jesse, and not worry about losing her trophies. They basically turned the community, community map into casual mode, which is something that I wanted them to have for a long time. I always wanted a casual mode. And they never had one. So now I'm glad that they do. Whoa, hey, 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 fam. Jesus Christ, no. Alright, we lost. See, look, we lost. No trophies lost. That's awesome. So, I guess I can start calling the community stuff just casual mode. I like that. I like that a lot. I felt like this game really needed a casual mode. Very, very fun to do. Oh, yeah, good job, bruh. Screwing that thing up. Why am I getting severe deja vu? I feel like I played this community new map before. It's like on the inside. I know I have it. See, I can keep losing all day long. All day long. I can just play these things for fun if I want an actual challenging, you know, casual mode. Because before, the only thing for casual mode was a friendly game. And while you could invite friends... I mean, you don't got all your friends on there. So it's still pretty hard to, like, get a full game of just players. So there's going to be a lot of bots. And bots just aren't as fun to play against. Oh, yeah, they also had a whole bunch of new... They said, new animated pins and faces. So I know Jesse has one. I could just read the thing again. Yeah, let's go read. <laughs> let's go back and read this thing again. Animated pins for Piper, Nita, Jesse, Pam, Spike, and BB. Yeah, I've seen all of them except for Spike because he's the only character I don't have. But I did notice the ones for the other ones. Animated faces. For. Some of Shelly's skins, default Nita, and one of her skins for Colt skin, Bull, and then one of his skins, Dynamite, and two of his skins. I think that's a Piper skin. Uh, default BB, and one of her skins, one of Bia's skins, regular Mortis, and two of his skins, and then Jackie, Frank, Max, ooh, and Shadow Knight, Jesse? Oh, uh, yeah, that's definitely different. Oh, that's cool. Compared to a regular one. Definitely different. Alright, I didn't notice the other ones, though. Let me click this again. Well, yeah, I guess it, I guess it looks better. Yeah. Not as profound as some of the other ones. But I guess, I suppose... Oh, hey, cool. Frank smiles now. That's cool. Oh, yeah. You yeah, got, got little differences in there. That pin looks kind of weird, though. Kind of, like, glitches out at the end, I think. Or at least in-game it does. The same thing goes for Pam's thing. Yeah, that's, that's cool. Got a whole bunch of new animations. Quality of life.
bull opens his mouth right there. That's a little difference. Oh man, that new animation. I feel excited to play this skin again. I haven't really used the skin, even though, even though I do like the skin, I still like the aesthetic for default as well. So, anyway, just a bunch of minor stuff. Well, some of it is kind of big. You know. We'll probably have to adapt to the bus. Oh, jeez. Mmm. Yeah, it says trophies are now removed from the winner of the day map. So it's basically casual. They also said they would fix the matchmaking. Awesome. Very awesome. Very cool. Got a little Piper pen right there. Nice. Oh, they animated that one too. Hey, that's awesome. Kinda of cool, kinda of cool. Okay, yeah. So yeah. Kinda of awesome. We just play some casual games here. Actually, play casual games with my skin. Yeah, actually yeah. I'd rather play casual gem grabs. Because those community maps are just kinda of gimmicky to be honest. Perfect for a casual man. Definitely noticeable here. I also gotta say that I really like this map. <laughs> really? Oh my god, the damage! It's so much. It's so noticeable. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Actually, I would actually kind of prefer if you died. I feel safer with some in my hand. Just because, you know? <laughs> uh oh, wait, he's gonna bust the wall open. Yep, I saw that one coming. Come at me, fam. Do it, I dare you. Yep. All right. Ah, ah, God. Just a little quality of life. Definitely very cool update. For the thing. Like it so much. All right, that's it.